What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to another extreme overclocking session. Well, in fact this is going to be more an experiment than a true session. I'm going to overclock this Ryzen 3 2200G with this copper mule mag from Gamer Nexus and liquid nitrogen. I'm going to use the Crosshair 7 and a couple of selected B-Dye kit. Well, let's get started. The first thing to do is to prepare the motherboard for the extreme cold because our enemy, our main enemy, is the water. When you go extreme, we usually have a lot of ice forming around the pot and then a couple of restart of the system, the ice melt and then, of course, you all know what happens when the ice melt. Water. And uh, water in the board means game over. So, uh, many people use Vaseline, but I'm not a big fan of it because every time get gets very messy and then you have to put the motherboard in a dishwasher and wait a couple of days. I personally use diapers. I know, it sounds funny, but think that the company that made diapers, actually every year they invest millions to keep our babies and senior dry. So, as a solution, trust me, is very, very effective. I can bench in extreme condition for hours without getting the board wet. As you can see here, I have a piece of neoprene to place in the back of the motherboard with, of course, my diapers. The good thing about this system is I have a layer that is used to catch the water and moisture and the other layer which is waterproof so I can prevent from dripping the water to the motherboard. So I place the first layer and then another piece of neoprene. It's very important to catch the water but also to keep everything very insulated because if there's no air there's no condensation. So a good level of isolation is, is key. To make it work, since this CPU pot, well CPU mag uh, really, uh, is very thin, I have to place this pure copper plate as a buffer. So I'm going to put this first, then the CPU mag here, and then this one, plus some layers of insulation around. Now that everything is well placed, it's time to insulate this area. Now everything is ready and I will put some other copper plate inside just to have some additional buffer. And we can start. This thing actually is pretty fast. I'm really impressed by the performance. This thing is fast. In a blink of an eye I got to negative 190 degrees and I wasn't prepared so now I have to reboot 
and to change the voltage to prevent the shutdown of the motherboard but really I'm impressed and in moments like that the insulation is the key because when I have to warm up the platform as you can see the ice melt and the water can go down to the motherboard so with a good insulation you can do it and then without any risk of damaging the components uh, well and to boot again Alright guys, since it's 3 in the morning, uh, unfortunately I have to go and well, I had a lot of fun, it is kind of unbelievable, I made uh, 7 first places and 1 second place and a lot of fun, so well, I will keep doing that with this uh, CPU mug and well, uh, stay tuned and see you in the next one.
it seems that the LN2 container just blow up. Don't worry, nothing serious, it happens all the time. It, when I discharge it, sometimes it gets into pressure and it's kind of blow up, but nothing serious again. See?